times okay let's begin we many of the times ended up seeing something called as convolution and what the heck that is At the moment we see this formula associated with convolution so we try to figure out what this is all about we ended up uh, seeing some graphs and following those equation so it becomes bit difficult for us to understand so we as a human are very interested to understand this any principle and part for that we look for analogy because that's what makes it as easier to understand because there where we are able to relate to so let's look upon what analogy we can have for convolution so you see someone just like me which phone of it is okay uh, is given sweets at time t1 t2 at t3 so at t1 he was given a sweet 1 sweet 2 sweet 3 just like a gulab jamun kaju katli or some bengali sweet okay uh so if i am interested to know what the taste he is experiencing at the time uh, he just have his first bite of sweet 3 so we can see that he still have some remains of sweet 1 okay a bit more of sweet 2 and sweet 3 he, he just uh, like a brand new introduced and he just have his first bite so uh, but we can see that yeah he would have the taste of all of this three but of varying degrees don't we agree so there is something called as a unit impulse which is just like a kick for instance and we have output for that impulse as called as unit impulse response let's say we have a pendulum over here and we give one hit at the bottom and see a swing back and forth and eventually dies out so that was a, a response to one kick so let's say sweet we just saw before are considered of numerous of basic units of sweets these basic units are just like impulse of taste just that which a taste bud experiences let's say sweet one is composed of uh 10 units sweet two is of 50 and sweet three of 20 such units so i'm interested to know what the response of basic only one unit not about 10 15 or 20 but just about one and that's what is a uh, response of one unit and that's what is we call as impulse response okay so we look, we are looking for basic one unit okay so the response of basic one unit the taste which is i would say exponentially dies up okay so sweet at beginning with a happy face and by the time it loses its longingness in our mouth it taste dies up so we can see here a graph a bit uh, graphical here but it's easier for us so let's say sweet 1 composed of 10 units sweet 2 composed of 15 and sweet 3 composed of 20 units okay so more than the basic units the more impact it's it's going to be there for a long time so for stay time t1 t2 t3 the moments when each of the sweets were entered so uh, we can see for sweet 1 at t1 it dies out slowly exponentially and sweet 2 was not there at time t1 and sweet 3 was also not at time t1 only sweet 1 was there by the t2 time sweet 2 has its output like this but sweet 2 has more of it okay and by the time t3 sweet 3 just enter uh, we can see the remains of uh 1 uh, 2 and 3 so if i am interested to know what are the taste that i have in my mouth at time t3 it's going to be a summation of all of this okay sweet 1 sweet 2 and sweet 3 by the time t4 we could see the summation of all of them but we can see them the remains the more are the remains the more are the basic units the let let the time they are introduced more they have going to be have their impact okay so now let's move a bit more mathematically 
we have this as an input so we can see this input is composed of uh, we would say a train of pulses okay just at some shifted times t1 t2 t3 t4 t5 t6 and x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 so xt is my input over there okay just like this one so as time progresses from 0 to t1 to t2 to t3 my input also changes from x1 x2 and x3 so if it in order to understand uh, what the output is going to be for this input we need to see the impact of all the train of pulses that which this input is composed of but I need to flip the signal in order to understand it better okay I just flip the signal xt and now it's x minus let's say tau okay so I just I just if I'm interested about point x1 okay the output response of x1 is going to be like decays okay so as time progresses t1 t2 t3 and t4 okay and just behind x1 there is x2 so after flipping the signal we could see that the two follows the one okay two follows the one okay so as time progresses the response of one is going to be good see it's decaying and for type t1 you could we can see but for type t1 x2 wasn't in the picture but by the time t2 x2 was introduced so as the moment that x2 was introduced is going to have its output just like this so by the time t4 we could see the output is composed of both of them y1 which is due to x1 y2 which is due to x2 so its output is going to be composed of both of them but we just don't have two over there not just x1 and x2 it's composed of a uh, would say a train of pulses of all many of them and for that we need to sum up and to sum up in continuous time we have something like called as integral so that makes our task easier so this formula is all about this only this is the input this is output the product of input and output but shifted okay this is a shift I can also say output uh, input shifted input so this is summation of them so we are not just look uh, going to look up how, how this come up because we are not interested in this but we just figure out how that happens through the analogy and I think he must have helped you thank you